Hi guys, so number one, I just want to say that I'm really proud of the way that all of you have taken on editing and I'm just, I just think you've, you're doing a wonderful job. One of the biggest mistakes that I'm seeing is working with the Ken Burns effect when that comes up. That's the question that I'm getting the most. So I'm just going to give us a little assignment and I'm going to answer that question. Um, number one, I would always go and create a new event. So you have to click on the events and make sure that the events are blue. And then you're going to say file new event. And then that way all of the pictures go into the same folder. And that way everything stays organized because these events are like folders. So um, you're going to bring all your pictures in. Make sure you download them from Google Classroom. And a quick way to get all of the pictures in is to click on the first picture and then push the shift key down hold it click on the last picture now you can see that all of the pictures are selected and now you can drag them down and they will come down in order another thing is is that right now they're all two seconds long if you wanted to change the duration you could click on this I right here and then like let's say if we wanted to make it three seconds long we could do three hit return and now all the pictures are three seconds long and of course you always want to put a title so grab a title actually I'm going to get rid of this one I'll just do this one and drag it down I'll delete that one click on it make sure it's yellow my trackpad's off so it's not working correctly Okay, so I'm going to put cute dogs in here. And now if we watch the pictures, they actually don't have any Ken Burns effect on them. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to click on the first one, hit the shift key, click on the last one. And now all of them are selected. You're going to go to this little crop tool thing here. And you're going to click on Ken Burns. Now let's go ahead and watch these again. Okay, now if you notice that the Ken Burns effect is making it zoom into a place that you probably don't want it to zoom into or it doesn't cover the entire picture. So the way to deal with that is click on the picture, click on the crop tool, and then there's a start box and an end box. So the start is where the zoom starts. So I'm just going to force this open. I'm just going to click it and drag it open. Okay, and then I'm going to click on the end. And the real cute part is right here with the kitten on the dog's head. And now if you play this, it zooms in there. Let's go to the next dog. It's zooming into its feet. So if you double click on it, the Ken Burns effect should come up. One box is where it starts, so open that up. And the other box is where it ends, so you're going to open that up. And then if we play it, now it zooms to the dog's face, which is more appropriate than zooming to its legs. The Ken Burns effect doesn't work well with vertical pictures, and that's where you notice it the most. So we're going to work with vertical pictures today. And so I want you to go in, and you're going to have to change the Ken Burns effect for all of these. So one of the things that I'm going to be looking for is, did you actually go in and change all of these vertical pictures so that they have the Ken Burns effect? Export it and then put it in Google Classroom, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.